On a busy section of Secor Road, right near the Sylvania Avenue intersection, you will find Ollie's Meat Market and Bakery. You know which place it is because it says Ollie's Meats right on the rooftop. And I'm here with Amir, he's the owner. Uh, we are gonna get right to it. So we're in, we're in the back room here. This is like the meat side. This is where you do all the prep. Uh, and you have a lamb, I wanna say prepared for us. We saw you sort of just throw it on the hook. Tell me a little bit about what we're gonna be doing. This is the first step. We get the whole lamb in and then we break it down. We have many different cuts and we'll get into all of that as I cut it up for you. Uh, when did you start? at Ali's mark, Meat Market? When I was very young, my father always brought us in to work with him. It's a family business. Basically, I grew up here, and I went away for a while, and now I'm back. I took over the business, and I'm gonna see what I can do. Is this a difficult process to do mentally the first few times, as far as breaking legs off of an animal? Uh, well, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Well, physically, yeah, but is it kind of odd at first? Uh, like I said, when you grow up around it, you get used to it quick. There we have two legs. The leg, you usually make a roast, you make ground lamb or shish kebab, all kinds of different cuts. Why'd your dad get into this? It was a family tradition back home and overseas. He was a butcher there and he brought that over here with him. It's kind of like woodshop class, but with meat. Now I just cut the shoulders off of the back here. Mm -hmm. The back has the rack and the loin for the lamb chops and the ribs on it. What's the process like every morning for you coming in here then? You're obviously preparing lamb. What other meats do you guys have? Lamb, beef, goat, chicken, many kinds of seafood, everything except for pork. But we cut everything fresh to order for our customers. What's it like being now, here in Toledo? What do you think our flavors are like? Are we good eaters? Toledo has a great mix. We have a lot of variety in our foods, and we have many, many restaurants, and yeah. a lot of good cooks in Toledo. And it seems like, just growing up here my whole life, that we have a very good Mediterranean presence as far as food. Uh, do you feel that same way? People love it, and they're, they're learning that the Mediterranean diet is a very healthy alternative mm -hmm. to many of the foods that we're accustomed to eating. I'm getting hungry. We're like a lot of steps away, though, from me eating, aren't we? I mean, we're not even close right well, now. Well, it depends what you want to make. <laughs> well, we're going to get into that in a little bit. How thick do you like your lamb cut? I'll take that whole thing. That whole thing? I'll take lamb back. So this is it. This is our, our lamb chop, right? Yeah, this is a lamb loin chop, fresh mm -hmm. American lamb. Can I cut a lamb chop? Yes, I'm okay. going to let you cut a lamb. Oh, my God. The piece of meat you're cutting mm -hmm. is very stable. Like you wouldn't want to cut it this way because the saw will pull it. What if I'm not very stable? Probably don't want me near this. All you have to do is keep your hands and fingers an inch away from the blade the whole time and you're All right. safe. Okay. And you use the, the table, it's on a roller, it's a guide. So you put your pressure on the table mostly and let the saw do the work and you'll be just fine. So it really is like woodshop class. Yep. Okay, Here's which I failed. Switch. Uh-huh, and then we just push it all the way up, right? Yep, no forward pressure. Just... First lamb chop. That's my first bit. lamb chop. Just cut some good meat. The butcher shop was only half of our adventure as we next made our way to the bakery where we met Ali the baker and whipped up some authentic Middle Eastern favorites, including Mana Age. The one I had when I came in here the other day, because I have been here before, was like this, this meat that was kind of like chorizo. What was that? Yeah, that's called sizhuk. Sizhuk? Yeah, and that's the Arabic word for sausage. Okay. And it's another blend of spices, different seasonings. Uh, similar to chorizo, our version of chorizo, mm -hmm. one could say. And then there was like a dessert one with like honey, which was really good. Yeah, that one has uh, lebanese and mozzarella and honey on top. What's the first thing you said? Lebanese, which is a cream cheese. Ooh. Mediterranean cream cheese. What's the official name of this one? This is a meat pie. Meat pie. Oh, that's the meat pie. And that's different from the meat pie that I already ate, the, the little pocket. It's the same recipe in the stuffing but we do it open mm -hmm. for people who want a larger pie and don't want to eat all the little pieces. Yeah. Take a big sandwich or a nice big slice and go to town on it. This yes. one's ready to go. Ready meat to go. pies just got a little bit of cheese and a lot of meat. Look at that. I love it. These guys are going to throw down before I leave here today. <laughs> 
Oh, he even added that little spin in there. So you didn't do that. I wore gloves, but I did nothing. This is quite the spread. We have five Mena'ish. And then this is from Lebanon, right? Yes. Miranda Orange. I noticed that walking around here that you guys have a, a good variety of things that I don't find other places. And I love the idea of coming in here and buying groceries and then you're smelling the food. You're like, well, I may as well eat while I'm here too, right? The meat pie was fantastic. You know, I have that same flavor. What Do you guys use a certain seasoning on the meat? Everyone has their own little blend. Yeah. I put just enough all spice and just enough seven spice. And I prefer it a little spicier, but I have to make it for everybody. And you can always add hot sauce at the end. This doesn't need hot sauce because it's got that kick. This is what, it's like chorizo, what is it again? This is called shizuk. Shizuk. And this is the half and half. And then maybe find that piece that has both. And you can taste all those ingredients there, that just mix of flavor. Wow, that is really, really good. All right, I'm gonna move on to the dessert. As we wrap things up, I was going to close out this segment, but you kind of gave me something better to say. What, what did you say? Whether you need fresh meat or something good to eat, stop in Ali's Meat Market. I think he's a new host. <laughs>